Hey there, welcome to another video. In this video, we will design some more pages for our app and we will use Shopify Polaris to understand how we can use the Shopify Polaris and also some part of the Shopify app bridge. So let's start. From here, we have the sidebar navigation for our app. I'm going to add some more pages and we will add some content for each of those pages. If I come to my code, open the app um, directory, we have routes directory. Routes directory is where we spend most of our time. Um, in here, we have a page um, a file called app.jsx. In here, we can see our navigation. Anything that starts with a UI will be part of the Polaris. Uh, not the Polaris, the part, part of the app bridge. So you have to remember that this app provider and also the UI nav menu, this is part of the app bridge. You can see we have home and we have the additional page. If I change additional to, let's say this is a setting, I save it, I go to my app and I just give it a few seconds. Sometimes it does not reflect instantly. Um, you can see it takes some time to reflect the additional page change to settings. Now let's change the file and directory also. This one should be also settings. Once we save this, since we do not have a setting directory, and instead we have this additional um, .jsx, app.additional.jsx. This is the directory structure. Um, you see app.additional means app slash additional. Um, if you change this app to anything else, you can do that, but in the directory also you have to change that. For now, I will just rename this file to settings. And now if I go back to my app, I click in the settings, it should take me to the settings directory. We have to update the title too, right? So if I open settings.jsx, we can see uh, since this one is part of the app bridge, I have to look for the app bridge component, right? If I open this file, you can see UI title bar is here and the title is additional page. And instead of additional page, we will change it to settings. Let's change the component name also. Settings. And that's all we have to change for now. Let's not worry about the content in here. If I come back, you can see this one also changed to settings. If I click the app name in here, it will take me to the home page, but this one is still have the remix app template. I'll go back to the app um, dot JSX, and you can see it is not here because that is inside the index file. If I open the index file, we can see the title bar uh, in here. Let's change this to overview. Because instead of home page, which is very common, I will call it overview. I will uh, display a basic um, overview of what we have in um, our Shopify dashboard. So it is overview. And what else we can change? Uh, we don't have to worry about anything else. You can see inside the title bar, we have this button. And this button is calling um, generate product. Let's remove this and clean this up a little bit because that is this button that you see at the top. Um, that is for these two pages. Now let's add one more page for pricing because I am going to add a pricing page for the app because apps are not going to be free. Uh, let's come to the app.settings. I will save this, uh, save as pricing.jsx. This is the, the page. Let's change the title pricing and also the component name in here pricing page I'll just save it for now and in the app.jsx let's duplicate this menu oops I think I accidentally paused the video with my shortcut so I'll just copy this line and then paste it at the bottom because my screen recorder um, has overwritten the the code editor settings. So let's make this one uh, pricing and also the content. Let's come back to our app 
and again it will take some time to reflect but optionally you can just refresh your page and it should bring the new menu uh, you can see pricing is here if you click on the pricing it will take you to the pricing page and this place we should display some pricing now let's check some of the component uh, from polaris and see if we can use one of them for example in the component section uh, you have different options for example callout is one of them you can use this as a um, like a pricing starting design i'm not going to do that because it will take um, too long to design it but i'll do that behind the scene the only thing that I will do is add an empty state probably. This is a nice thing that you can have in the overview of your website. Uh, you can see the code is in here. You can use it as using legacy card. Um, what else we can use in the homepage or, or the setting page? So if you go to the fundamental, I think it was in the content. No, it is in the design and from here, and uh, let me see if i can find that in the getting start okay mm yeah it is in the patterns from here you have this app settings if you click on this it will give you an example of how your app setting will look like probably we can use one of these example to put this on the app setting that we have so this is the, um, the component that they will give you and you can use these components so let's copy this and we will use this on our setting page if i go to the settings for now this is what we display but i'll come here and open the settings and we will replace the content let's remove the layout we have two layouts side by side if i remove this and this one should be empty um let me have a look so this is the app setting example that they have they have um they return the page and this is the content i'll come down and these are the components that we will need if you start from um, block stock if i scroll down to the closing and this is what we have because we already have the page component i'll paste it now if i save this you might see some error if I come back to my app let's just refresh the page um, and see if we get any error on this okay we don't get any error it did not compile this for us uh, if I scroll up a little bit probably okay sorry I, I added that in the pricing page so it should be in this page again I'll remove this let's paste that and save it we do not we did not import these components in the top so for that we might get an error if i come here you might see like inline grid is not defined because we did not import these uh, components so i'll paste that and save it let's see what other component we did not define mm, for example this text field we did not import uh, since I'm using Copilot, I can just come here and see we have used divider and those are all the components. If I save it this time, you can see text field here. It should take a few seconds. And we have one more error. SM app is not defined. If I come back here, just showing you like how all of this works, it is using the breakpoints. So if you use breakpoints, you just have to import this as a in the component i assume you know react and how all of this works so if i come here with this breakpoint we just import this hook use breakpoint this one is for responsive and you can check that in the documentation how it is one work but for now let's see if that fixed the problem we refresh it and this is the app setting for now this is the dummy content but this is where we put all the setting about the app you can have your own design but this is the simplest possible we can design the app and again for the pricing i will do it behind the scene and if you have any question you can ask below this video thank you for watching i will see you in the next video